Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to 7 Days to Die. I'm the Radio Man 03. It is awesome to have you along. Here we are once again. I have packed up everything that I feel like I need to take with me, and our inventory is jammed packed. Let's take a look at it. Boom, it is full of stuff to take with. We're moving. We are moving. Um, I heard a wolf last night. I'm just kind of curious if the wolf is still around. Matter of fact, if the wolf is still around, I should probably have one of these guys down here. I heard a wolf howl. But that doesn't necessarily mean there was a wolf out here, does it? I don't know. I don't know. Uh, last episode, we, we did really, really well. We got a bunch of pieces of the puzzle. You can see I've got an iron pickaxe now in my inventory. I've not made the iron axe yet. We do have a hoe. I've left all the seeds behind, though. Why am I stopping for little stones? I don't know. Uh, I've left all of the seeds behind, and we will come back and get those. We need to find, I want to find, a place to call home. Some place where I can start building. I'm a builder, and I want to build. So that's what we're going to do. We're going to go find a place to build. And the suggestion was, after last episode, was, hey, radio, how about, um... Okay, I've got room for feathers. That's good. We should always have room for feathers, right? Yeah, we should. Um, that there's this, this town that we have here on our left, but there was a second town over here uh, on our right. Maybe there's a strip of land in between that we can build on that's going to make it convenient for us to get to both towns and that we can loot wherever we want to loot. I think this other town is bigger. Uh, we're actually heading over that direction right now to kind of see if that's the case. I feel like there's something hissing at me or coming up on me. It's weird. There's actually a path over here. I'm not checking stuff. We'll, we'll, we'll check these things later. <laughs> I want to get to where we're going to set up a home. What is that, right? Oh, I thought I saw a wolf. It's not a wolf. It's just a rock. Uh, yeah, We want to set up our house. And I think this trail right here actually leads up over the top of this mountain and down to the other side. Because there's our town. We were over at that building right over there, looking across the water, and we could see another town. So I want to head over that direction and see what we could find. Uh, if this thing has got honey in it, that would be fantastic. Nothing. So, hope everyone's doing great. I'm doing fantastic. It is my Saturday afternoon. I owe you guys another episode of Seven Days to Die in this week. So, I'm going to hopefully record this and then get it uploaded between Saturday night and Sunday. So, you guys have it to watch. And then we'll uh, resume next week. i got a lot of weird stuff going on next week. So, we've got to remember these things around here. We've got camps and stuff like that. There were some pretty decent businesses in the town, I thought. Not too bad. Uh, high desert. And what are we getting over here? What is this what is this biome over here? Somebody said there was a maple forest. It was Alcium. Alcium? Were you saying there was a maple forest? Somebody said there was like a maple forest in between our city and this next one. Uh perks. What have I purchased? I have purchased um another there it is right there. There it is right there. That one looks pretty devastated too. Looks like it tra kind of travels out into this area here, too. I'm not quite sure what that is, but we're going to head down that way and take a look and see. Because there's a nice road that leads right in between both of them. Maybe that point right out there uh, oh, with the water on both sides of it might not be too bad either for the build I want to do. Uh, if I can't get the castle build, the castle kind of... Oh, there's a graveyard. Oh, mama. Such good stuff popping up all over the place here. All right, I got mental notes going in that we're going to come back and check these places out once we can. Because right now, as you can see, I've got no room in my inventory really for anything. I've got a few empty spaces and that's it. And I've kind of kept those. Oh my God, buzzards galore. We'll see if we can get the buzzards. Come on down here. Atta boy. I forgot to reload my bow. That's right. Come on back. Come on back. Yeah, that's it. <laughs> I think I hit him with that one. Here he comes. Sneak damage bonus times two. I'm a little nervous right now. I don't know why, but I am. I'm feeling a little jittery. Come on, come down here. Maybe if I stand up. Oh, that's bull. Should have clubbed him.
Come on, buzzard. I want your I want your feathers, buddy. I'm watching the ground too for snakes. That's the last thing we need is some snakes coming up on us. Here he comes. Oh, are you kidding me? There's a zombie here somewhere in the grass. Oh, my God. oh, jeez, I'm infected. Crap. How did that happen? Well, we got an extra space in our inventory now. <laughs> we do. Lots of feathers, though. All right, we're gonna dump that. We're gonna eat that. Someone's groaning and moaning over here. All right. Oh, wow. God, why did that make me so dang nervous? Where's that other one at now, too? We had the second buzzard. There it is, right over there. I know, there's garbage bags. There's all kinds of stuff. You guys let me know that I can punch the corn stalks, especially the dead ones, and get seeds off of them. That is awesome to know, in case anybody else didn't know that. Now, we've got desert over here, which is pretty cool. But we, we're looking for that, that area over here, I think. Let's keep on going. I'm going to watch out for the snakes and keep on moving. Just keep on trucking. Uh, one thing that was mentioned uh, in the last episode, too, is that the area that we were walking around in that house and this area right here, this kind of a high plains area, gets really hot. And so it's not advisable to live in a place like this because of the heat. So, yeah, we'll move away from here and, and try to find some place that's uh, a little bit uh, friendlier to us. Where's that buzzard, man? Last thing I need is to get infected again because we have no antibiotics to uh, deal with that situation if we do again. Although we do have a trader that has the, uh, whatchamacallit, uh, a, a working chem station. Okay, this road would not be a good road or, or, or a good road to drive on. That looks like, ooh, what's that over there too? There's a big old plateau over there. Uh, I gotta find a way down from here. Got to find a way down. I'll tell you what, I'll bring you guys back if anything exciting happens, okay? Otherwise, uh, I'm just going to be kind of working my way around looking for a spot to live for us. That's it. We were right over here last episode. We were looking over this direction. That's when we spotted the other town. So we're going to keep heading this direction and see if we can't get closer to that town and just see what it is going to have to offer. But we're on foot, so it's going to take us a while to get there. So I'll be right back. Got him. There we go. Bingo. All right, so we got a little bit of food. Lots of snakes out here. I've heard two or three snakes now. Too many snakes out here. This is not a hospitable place at all for us. But we got room for all this stuff right now, which is good. And then we got some meat, too. Okay, so, wow, this is really a crappy, crappy landscape. That is a big town over there, that's for sure. Looks like a bunch of busted up old buildings, like they dropped a bomb on that place, huh? But there's another oil place over there. I see two sky rises at least over there. So it's not a bad spot, that's for sure. Uh, but that's not going to do us. We're, we're just, uh, this landscape is not going to be very um, forgiving to us. So I'm thinking maybe in between these two areas is not going to be such a good thing for us. Because this is all that's out here is this high plains kind of desert. Oh, geez. High plains. Yeah, that's kind of a high plains desert. So... Uh, I'm still looking around. I'll be back when I, uh, you know, if something else happens. Fortunately, we did get another deer, so we've got a few more meats to eat on us, which is better, better good. So I'll be right back. We have a pig in distress. Oh, what have we got here? Oh, what's this here? What have we got here, guys? Take a look at this. Oh, there's a wild boar that just got slaughtered on his own over here. We got some kind of a, a, a fortress here uh, in a hole in the ground. And the pig just kind of died on his own over here. I heard him squealing and stuff. So we'll take advantage of that. That's just free food. Didn't have to do nothing for it. Oh gosh, what's in here? What the heck is in here? Well, this has got a little bit of uh, fortitude to it already, too, doesn't it? 
just checking to see what's in here real quick. I don't know if we're going to go in and explore it, but I want to see what's in here. We've got so many things we can come back to now. Oh, what's this? This is Billy. Mush. Oh, those are mushrooms up here. Watch out, Billy. Oh, my God. There's boxes and zombies in here. I got no inventory space. I see three more zombies at least. One, two, and three boxes and stuff in here it's just a cave it's just a big old cave that's pretty awesome all right we're gonna have to come back for this too and there's a handbag down here we've got no room in our inventory we just don't i need to find some place to kind of shelter up for the night and uh you know then we can come out and explore all of this stuff and figure out what we're going to do with it um i've not found anything suitable for us yet not not in terms of what, what i think is suitable for me and what it is i want to do i'm leaning back towards going back to the old town hey buddy boy how you doing uh, I'm thinking about going back to the old town. My athletics has gone up. Of course, I'm running like a madman all over the place. Uh, yeah, this kind of sucks, huh? We're it, it's there's nothing in good in between the two places. Let's keep going down this path right here. We'll see what we bump into. Okay, I'll be right back. Alright, I'm just making my way around the lake. We're almost back to the town that we explored the other day. Uh, killed a few zombies along the way, but nothing uh, nothing on them at all. Nothing at all on them, actually. Just put down a biker, and he had nothing on him. We've got a businessman up here. Finding lots of uh, feathers and stuff, so that's good. But yeah, the zombies have been pretty much empty. Uh, uh, last episode, you guys said don't uh, scrap the puffer coat. I had other, another one, so I did uh, scrap, of course, the one. Uh, but we're wearing the other one we have right now, so we're, we're good to go there. Uh, we should be good temperature-wise, I believe. Uh, yeah, the temperature's coming up, so we're okay. Uh, I'm still looking for a nice flat spot. There was one kind of back over here that's between this body of water and another lake, but I just feel like it's so far away from town that any time we got to go in and get parts until we get a mini bike, it's going to be quite a trek to get there. And some of you said for day seven, Horn, I should just use one of the buildings in town, slap up a little something simple, and call it a day, and just, you know, live with that. So I, I kind of like that idea, too. And then we can pick a different spot to where we're going to build and kind of work on that at the same time. Because, uh, yeah, to be honest, now that I know Horde 7, not, the seven-day Horde night is not a big deal. Um, yeah, I'm kind of thinking I'm kind of thinking the same way. See, there's, there's town. Town is coming up, but... Uh, Still, there's just no big flat areas out here. I mean, I could make one. I could definitely make one. It's not like we can't do that. Let's go up here. This is town right here. I just don't want to be so far away from town at the very beginning that I got to run, a, you know, like for an hour or two just to get anywhere at all. I'd rather have town a little bit closer to us. Lucy spotted us. Lucy gave us a gun last episode. In day two. So sweet of her. You got another one on you, lady? Nothing. Wow, isn't that crazy? There's Burt Reynolds, too. Oh, one of you mentioned it's the 40th anniversary of Smoking the Bandit this year. Ha! Huh. Burt. Maybe I shouldn't be such a hurry to find a spot either. I don't know. I, I just feel like last season we were it was day five or six before I said, okay, we're gonna we're gonna build right here. This is where we're gonna be. Nothing. Um, and it's raining right now, so I'll tell you what, I'll come back when the weather improves, and then we'll we'll, we'll further. Ooh, there's a deer. Lost him. Where'd he go? There he is. I think he bled out. 
That'll be the first deer I've shot that ever bled out. There it is, the hunt. The great hunt. The great hunt. Oh yes, it was a hell of a shot. 100 degrees, oh my god, really? Pouring down rain, it's 100 degrees. It must be just this kind of area, huh? Alright, so this is not bad. Um, there's the pan Poopy Pants Daycare. We saw that in the last part of the episode. Well, let's check up on here. Oh, this, this is just a hill. It's just a big old hill up here. You know? A road with a hill. But, what about back in here? Oh, now we're getting a little bit better here. Get this stuff out of here so I can see what I'm looking at here. I realize it's raining and kind of foggy, so you guys probably can't see too well. Hmm. I like this town just because it's got so many water sources near it, too. It's real easy to get water. It's a little further away from the trader, but once we get the mini bike, we can get back and forth to the trader pretty easy, I think. It does sit on a bit of a slope. We've got a nice, a relatively flat area right here. That wouldn't be too bad. Hmm. I'll be back. I'll be, I'm going to look around some more. <laughs> Check it out. We started here today. Or was it here? No, that's the trader. We started here today. We went all the way around here. And now we're right back here again. Other side of town. Um, I'm kind of liking this idea of right in here. Uh, it looks relatively flat right through here. If I take these rocks out right here, we should have a decent span of land like right in this area here to kind of get something set up, I think. So I think that's going to be my goal is to kind of clear out some of this stuff. Uh, get a chest put up. We're going to have to make some... Uh, Oh, you know what we could do is we could just stay in a house nearby here and get our stuff dropped off and then come out here at the work and then move it over here real quick. I can't even take that. Look at that, 250 feathers just in today. That's, that's pretty cool. So let's see what we have for houses in the nearby area. I can't believe it's still raining. I never knew it rained quite so long here. Usually it's a... Uh, a quick thing, but yeah, 45% wet here is what I am. What does that do to me, the wetness, if I get wet like this? I know it definitely cools me down, keeps my temperature cold. But I was thinking over here, let's see, we got a nice view of this lake out here. I mean, if we were to be up on this, this would be kind of cool to have that lake view down there. And we've got trees, we've got stone, we have clay, we have sand, we have all the things we need. The only thing I don't know is if we've got a good iron vein around here, but all these nodes out here, let's open up the map. Let me make sure I'm clear. I realize it's very gray and murky out here, guys. Hopefully this storm will be over soon. Let's go to map. Uh, look at all the different rock piles all the way through here. I mean, there's just tons of resources right in here. We've got a small town. It's not a great town, but it's not too bad either. And we're within distance of, there's the cave we found, and a few other things nearby. So it wouldn't be too bad to be right in this area. Wow, I wish this, uh, wish this storm would give up. Uh, I'm actually going to mark this on the map. Let's do this. Uh, save waypoint. This is going to be... Oh no, let's do the castle. There we go. Home. There we go. Alright, so let's do that. And then let's go into town and see if we can find a little building that we can kind of shack up in. One of you guys said I went past a really good solid one. The wood ones are pretty much crap. And I know the, bat the wood ones are not very good. Look at the size of these rocks out here that we can, I can harvest. And you said to search the cars. I wasn't searching cars until I got Quality Joe, but I can't get Quality Joe until I reach... Um, Scavenging 20, that's the ways out there. One of these houses would be pretty good, though, to kind of be starting off. I mean, it's like right here. This house right here wouldn't be bad at all, really. And it's next to the pa Poopy Pants Daycare. I love saying that, Poopy Pants Daycare. Let's, uh... I 
let's check this house out right here. It's only going to be temporary, and we could be up in the attic too, which would be nice. If we get upstairs in the attic, that would be a much better place for us to be than down on the bottom floor. The last place we're in, I didn't like. Oh, and by the way, if you noticed, I have another forge with me too. So we've got a forge. Now there's Lucy. You think she's seen us yet? Oh, oh, oh sweet mama! I bet you guys didn't even see that. That took her head right off. Right off. Oh my god. Brutal. Just brutal. I'm such a jerk. Uh, here's another bag. Oh my god, there's so many things we can't pick up. Yeah, we need to find a little, just a temporary little place. Put a couple chests down. Get our stuff out of our inventory. We could use uh, this this house right here. We're going to do it. We're going to go for it, guys. Here we go. We're going in. This is going to be our temporary home until we get our place built. And if we have to, we'll use one of the stone buildings inside town to uh, uh, to use for Horde Night on Night 7. Oh, the rain. Thank God. It's down to 40 to 1. Look at, the, look at the percent of wetness on me now. It's going down. Oh, this is a nice little trailer. Nice little place here. Uh, let's get this out of the way before it makes noise. And do I have any... Oh boy, I don't have anything on me to drop off. I can hear the fridge. Let's drop off a few things real quick. No, not the stone. Don't drop off the stone. Things we don't need in our inventory right now. There's five frames right there. I did use the wrench. I got a few extra pipes off of uh, the bed that was in the house we just stayed in. I... Uh oh. Did I wake somebody up? Okay, let's see what's inside here. See if we got anybody in here. Oh man, if I hadn't said it before, I'm having a great time. And those of you who suggested I play this game, thank you so much for that, because I really have had just such a ball. And you guys are making it even better with all the comments and, and the participation. Blood bag, awesome. We've not found a whole lot of clothing this time around. But then again, we haven't really done a bunch of searching either. All right, we're going to go up. somebody in here. We're going to live up here, I think. We're going to set this place up. <gasps> oh. It's okay. It's okay. It's okay. Yeah, this will work. This will work just great for us. I guess there could still be people in the other rooms downstairs. There's a padlock, but once we get our mini bike, yeah, right up in here. This is where we uh, this is where we set up shop for now. This is all extra iron for us. That's good. Uh, let's go ahead and start cutting these, some of these guys up. I won't even mention that last episode too that I should probably start getting these guys cut up just to work on my knife skills. Yeah, probably so. There we go. Now we're going to have a little place we can call home and uh, ooh, we can actually go over there too and take a look at that spot a little bit better in the daylight. Uh, let's do something like here. There we go. Just patching stuff up. Crouch. This room's empty. 
Okay. One room at a time. One room at a time. We'll clear this house. We'll box it up. We find a way in and out from the top floor so we don't have to worry about zombies being down here. Anybody behind the desk? So far, so good. Over here? No. Nobody behind the desk. Okay, sweet. Paper. Schematic for the compound bow. Awesome. That's one thing we never got. We found it last time, but we didn't actually get the compound bow. I think we woke somebody up. Oh, I think we got a roaming zombie horde going by. Yeah, I would put money on that. We're going to let them go on by. I realize they're just going to disperse in the area, but we can take care of them. Right quick, once we go back out there. Lucy. Nice and quiet like. Nice and quiet like. We don't want to draw attention to ourselves right now. Nice. Beautiful. Uh, just take. Take that, that, take this and this. Okay, in here we're gonna drop this. These bones and that fat. We pick this up. Put that in there with them. The glass and the sandwiches, and we'll put those glasses in there too. I think that group of zombies has left. We still have one more room in here though. One more room. Mm-hmm. Two more rooms. Oh, we got a chest in here. Some poop. Oh, nice. Antibiotic? Ah, wishful thinking, huh? There's a few things in here we could take apart for parts, which is awesome. Okay, so we're good. We're good here. House is clear, allegedly. All right, um... This all sorts of painkillers. That's our oh well. That's our stuff. I'm gonna go ahead and eat that right away. Oh, by the way, I went back to that first house and I did search those cupboards up there. I found a water and a tin can in there. Okay, so this is our way in and out right through here. All right, beautiful. Whoops. Okay, so what we need to do here is we need to... Um, let's go over this suitcase here real quick. We need to use this to drop a few things off. Let's drop that in there. Uh, let's get rid of that, that, that. 
Just throw a few things in here for now. Okay, so now what we need is we need a bedroll. Bedroll. Let's craft one of those up. That way it's going to save our spawn. Uh, what time of day is it anyways? It's 12.30. All right, so sweet. We've got some time. I don't know if I needed you guys here with me the whole time, but I get nervous and I forget to break away, basically. Um, okay, so that's going. We're going to need some storage chests. S-T-O. Uh, let's make that a favorite, and let's craft two of those guys. Actually, let's craft three of those guys. Bedroll. Take the shiv out. Put those chests in. All right, and we're going to put this guy right here. Uh, yeah, let's let's do this guy right here. Beer, perfect, perfect, perfect. Tools and cooking stuff over here. Uh, actually, you know what? No, let's go. Tools and cooking stuff over here. The wrench the claim block in there and this is going to be the cooking stuff because we're going to put the forge right down here weird okay uh, we're going to take a little bit of wood get that going in there right now like so uh, we don't have any clay for cooking so there's that um I got extra chests. Oh, that works. That works just fine. Okay, so we've got cooking stuff and that there. Uh, we're going to need a campfire. Campfire, craft. we got to pick a spot for the garden, too. I'll be right back. Let me get things kind of organized a little bit, and then we'll come back, and we'll uh, we'll figure out what we're going to do next. We, we might be done. I don't think so, though. We'll, we'll, we'll see. All right, I've got us all set up. The chests are kind of organized. We've got our iron that we do have smelting down, so that's good. We do need clay, though, in order to do anything with that. I think what I want to do is put something on the outside of this window here to get us up and down out of here. Oh, he's thirsty. He's thirsty. There we go. There we go. All better. Uh, ladders. Let's see. Let's go tab. Let's go ladders. Wooden ladder. Let's make up, uh, four of those I think should be enough. There we go. Bingo. Perfect. I don't think I want to drop from here, right? Not all the way down anyways. Come on. Right up here. There we go. Out, down, and we gotta get rid of the shutter. And we should be able to get down the ground. I think I want to go over and hit up Poopy Pants Daycare and see if we can find some schematics in there. We also need, uh, I can make a hammer now, so that's not a big deal, but I would, wouldn't mind finding a hammer, actually. It would be kind of nice to find one. Make sure nobody sauce. Little ledge, little ledge up on top there, so when I go up, I don't do something stupid and fall off. And ladders. There we go, beautiful. Okay, let's go over to Poopy Pants Daycare. I do believe I've got my inventory relatively cleared out. I have an, I've got glass in my in inventory. Yeah, relative. Oh, what did I just? What did I just do? No, stop, stop, stop. Oh, for God's sakes. I need, you know what? I think I need to clear the cache. And then it'll stop doing that. There we go. No, stop. <laughs> we got some ladders. We've got some ladders. Let's take a look at our spot. Yeah, over there. I think that'll be good, right? It's it's close to town, but not too close to town. And this town is so small that I don't think it's going to cause us any problems. I'm, I'm really excited about that. Uh, the pick, as you can see, is worn down. I, I took a lot of the iron that was underground at that house. The house we were staying at before. I took a lot of it out. And that house is just right over here. So it's going to make it real easy for me to get our stuff over to here, I think. I'm just getting these things out of the way. Oh, looks like there's a guy in the playground behind the Poopy Pants daycare. 
<laughs> There's a zombie back there. Billy. Billy's back there. Stuck. Yeah, he's definitely stuck back there. Can you guys see him? Let's see what we got going on here. Let's see if we can find some good stuff in this place right here. I'm going to check the door first, see if it's locked or not. It is locked. Okay, but we are going to go through the door. Let's crouch so we don't make any noise. We don't make a lot of noise. Let's put it that way. There we go. Beautiful. His brother's over here. He must have been in here getting an education. Ah, oh, the chair's in the way. Could be somebody behind the desk, too. Three for three. Can he keep this? Can he keep the keep it keep it going? Can he keep it going? Oh, thanks for letting me know there was a uh Holly. Oh, twit twitcher. Oh, ho, 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 that's five. I'll search him. I'll search him. Don't you worry. I'm going to start with this guy right over here first. Okay, there we go. I hold down C most of the time when I'm crouching because that way I could just let go of C with my finger and get the heck out of dodge really fast. We're going to put this right here so nobody comes walking in behind us without us knowing it. And we'll have our club handy. What do these chairs here give us? They should, they should give us, like, plastic, right? I would think they're made out of plastic. Dukes. What's in the desk? Blue shirt. Oh, yeah. Take it. Oh, yeah, there we go. Blue shirt. Nice. Okay. I should have the wrench with me. We could have taken that chair apart. Uh, I want to get the workbench next. That is our next quest, is the workbench. Uh, I'm kind of working on it right now. Uh, let's check the bookshelves while we're at it. Dang it, we already got that one. How crazy is that? Oh, yeah. We'll learn that. And we'll read that one there, too. A little bit of painting stuff going on there with that one. Oh, iron boots. Oh, man. Oh, and there's the spike club. Oh, sweet. We never did find the spike club last time, did we? Some lead. That's right. I'm crouched. I'm crouched, because there's still people in these back rooms here. Holly, what you got on you, darling? Just, just trash. He's just trash. I'm going to cut these guys up so we get some credit for our knife skills. I've not made a new iron axe yet. Uh, I had forgotten that the uh, iron tools wear your stamina down faster, but... I did get another sexual Tyrannosaurus. I spent money on that, and I spent money on... I'm just going to search a couple of these guys right here real fast. Um, sexual Tyrannosaurus, uh, Minor 69, we got another level on that. And um, what else did I put points into? I'm trying to remember what I put points into now. I'm going to search these bookshelves before they get a chance to maybe come out these doors and break them. Nothing. Nothing. There's two more over here. Let's get this guy cleaned up. I know the chairs and all this good stuff. We'll take these things too. I know, I know. We'll get all this stuff. Oh, look at what we just walked by right over here. Another twitcher. Oh, jeez, that's his arm. Hope you guys can see okay. I've got my gamma still turned up high. I've never... I didn't drop it since the, the last season. I think it's at 166 or something like that. Bookshelf? Nothing. Shotgun slug schematic. Okay. We didn't learn that one either last time. All right, let's go inside here and see what's going on. Oh. 
Looks like Lucy right there. A little bit of turret action going on. Oh, that plant scared me. Oh. Antibiotics? Anybody got some antibiotics in this here bathroom? Please, 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 antibiotics. Uh, empty jar. Oh, what's this? A scrap helmet? Oh, that looks pretty cool. Empty fancy toilet. Okay, that's that's one bathroom down. We got one to go. So far, we've been... No one has spotted us. No one has woke up. We managed to kill all of them. Without making a sound. Huh. Nobody's in here. What do we got here? What is this? The 44 Magnum? Oh, yeah. I'll take that. 44 Magnum, guys. Uh oh. Oh, you know what? That's Pete out back, I bet. There's some lights in here to take apart. Okay, there's some really good stuff. I got the toilet. The potted plant, okay. I think we looted uh, all but the cupboards, right? So we gotta finish up the cupboards real quick. Let's do that real fast. Pete's right up against the building here. There's so many cabinets in here, but this is gonna help us with our scavenging, right? Come on, I should have... Oh. Pete's on to us, guys. He's on to us. He's on to us. Nice. It's raining again. Drop the glass. Take that. Uh, scrap the chairs. Take that. Pete's brother's over here. Poor guy's trapped in the playground. <laughs> I think these this fencing here will give us tons of metal. Oh, there's a guy down here on the ground, too. Ah, woke him up. Oh, he's going to go play up on the playground stuff. That's cute. There we go, beautiful. Bullet casings. Drop the flesh. Take the bullet casings. Anything else back here that we need to see? Or look at? We get everybody? I think we got everybody. You know, there should be a chance of finding some cat poop in here. <laughs> but there's not. I don't think there is. I don't think that's the thing. Oh, garbage can. Let's check this out. Nothing. Okay, good deal. All right, let's put this back here. This is all kinds of good stuff for metal and scrap metal we can dig up. We won't get the uh, zombie flesh, but we should get the, uh, the bones for sure off these guys. And then we'll bring the wrench back here and uh, get the rest of it. Okay, so we're checking the cupboards out. I don't have much room left in my inventory. Oh, paint. Is there a corner? There is no corner cabinet here. Did they remove the corner cabinet? Because it really doesn't make much sense to me to have a corner cabinet. I think I was missing that before. 
checking the corner cabinets, but I don't know that there should be a corner cabinet. I mean, think about it. There really shouldn't be. Um, okay, I feel like I've searched Poopy Pants Daycare. We did really well. We can make almost, I think, a full set of armor right now out of scrap iron, which is pretty cool. Empty, empty. Uh, I can't pick up anything else right now. We are full, full of stuff. Yeah, we are full of stuff. Empty desk. Okay, I think I got everything here. Trash can. Empty small trash bin. Okay. All right, we're good to go. We're going to take this, and we're going to put this right back here. Let's check this car just to see if maybe there's a helmet in it. You guys were saying a miner's helmet might be in here. Nothing in that one. That's too bad. Oh, man, it's just wet. Right in the leg. Billy's like, dang it, Radio, what the heck? Why'd you shoot me in the leg? I got a perfectly good head on my shoulder, son. I said, yep. I'm gonna beat you in the head with it. With my club. There we go. Alright, good deal. Yeah, thank God I've got those ladders in my inventory. You never know when you might need a ladder. You never know. Uh, we've got some cars around here. Let's search this car real fast here, too. If, that, if there's something in it, we know we could get in the house right away. Nothing. Another sedan right over here. I was waiting until I got my quality Joe. That was the advice I believe last season was wait till you get quality Joe before you start searching some of the bigger things. Like I'm not getting anything out of those cars now. We're in. We are in like Flynn. Uh, we still need. Um, uh, what was I gonna say? Uh, can I repair this? I can't repair that. Uh, we still need um, clay. I need clay in order to keep this going here. So I don't know where everything is in the chest yet, just yet. Uh, throw the bones in there, I believe, because we can use those to uh, to bake things and melt them down. We can melt those guys down there. Uh, that schematic we could sell. And it looks like I have the bones over here. Yeah, so I'll get this stuff put away on my own. I'm not going to make you guys sit through this. We did pick up some more turds, though. Yeah, we got four turds now, so that's going to help with the gardening. We're going to have to get the farm figured out, so I'm going to have to go out there and look at the spot and say, okay, this is where I want this to go. You know what I mean? I want these to go here, 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 and here, and all that good stuff, so I'll have to make, uh, I'll make a run out there and see what I can figure out what I want to do. Uh, let's drop that in there. Uh, do I have more? I, I know I've got feathers somewhere. There we go, right there. Bingo. Bingo. So, awesome, awesome, awesome. Uh, we're going to need one of these guys right here. And we're going to need one of these guys right here. For our cooking, our campfire. There we go. And I think we're good. I think that's going to wrap up today's episode, guys. I'm going to spend a little time in here. Wow, it is just nasty outside. Just absolutely 100% nasty. Don't like it at all. It's gross. The house is uh, sealed up outside, so we should not have any uh, zombies coming in on us. Uh, so we should be good to go here, I believe. Uh, this is going to give me a bunch of iron, right? Yeah. Yeah, that's going to be iron galore here. So yeah, I'm going to wind up breaking this stuff down at night, taking the wrench to that uh, air conditioning unit. We want mechanical parts, so we want to get some mechanical parts going. We need 20 for the workbench, so that's going to be a quest of mine. Uh, real quick here, in, in terms of farming as well, we're going to be taking care of that also. We're going to be getting some farming stuff going, so um, yeah, no worries there. We've got coffee, coffee, corn, and um, I think a lot of the other plants too right now. We've got a bunch of the different things to, to, uh, to be able to do, uh, to cook up. So uh, that's going to wrap up the episode. Hope you enjoyed it. Kind of different. A little exploration, but uh, I think we found a good spot. I think I found a good spot. I hope you guys think so too, but right here you can see it's kind of a uh, it's kind of a good piece of land right here. It might not be bad. Well, that, that all slopes downwards, right? That all slopes down. So, no, not down there, but up in here, right in this area here, I think we're going to be able to call this home and have access to all this stuff over here for whatever we want. And then we're not too far away. The other town is just right, right over here. Uh, so, that's no big deal. What's this here? What's this here? I don't know what that is. And we found some really cool stuff, too. We've got these circles here we've got to go take a look at and search those areas as well. We found that really cool little mine. Maybe that's it right here. 
But uh, yeah, we're going to backtrack and do that and check those things out. So if you enjoyed today's episode, do hit that like button for me. Comment, subscribe, and share. I'm the Radio Man 03. I want you to have an awesome, a fantastic, and a superb day. Where's my fat? And I look forward to talking to you again next time.